1980s was a time of some of the greatest pickups we ever got, but in the light of those pickups, there were some amazing trucks that never got the chance to show their full potential and remained in the shadows forever. So here are some of the forgotten pickup trucks from the 80s. The Dodge Rampage, made from 1982 to 1984, was a bit of a quirky experiment by Chrysler Corporation. Imagine a small truck with the heart of a compact car. It had a 2.2-liter engine and came with a choice between a manual or automatic transmission. Not super powerful, but it did the job, especially if you needed to haul stuff like lumber or just get around town. It was pretty light, too about as heavy as a Mazda Miata, which is kind of funny thinking about a pickup truck. People who love these old rides see them as cool projects, especially since you can swap parts from other Dodges of that era. It's kind of a hidden gem, really, blending car comfort with truck utility. Sadly, it didn't stick around long, but it's got a cult following now, especially among people who dig retro rides. The Chevy S10 Baja, rolling out between 1988 and 1991, was like a beefed-up version of the regular S10, but with a twist for the off-road crowd. It was decked out with a roll bar, off-road lights, a tough grill guard with fog lights, and even a tubular rear bumper. Imagine driving something that looks ready for the desert right off the lot, with shields under the body to protect it from rough terrain. It came in cool colors like midnight black, apple red, and frost white, and had this rad Baja decal that made it stand out. The 91 models even got special seats with Baja stitched right in and some red door trims to boot. It was the kind of truck that made you look twice with optional extras like a cargo net for the tailgate and this unique spare tire carrier that looked sharp. Despite its cool factor, it's kind of slipped under the radar over the years. Maybe it was too niche or perhaps newer trucks just overshadowed it. The Dodge D100, particularly from the 1980s, is actually a part of the broader D-series from the 1960s through the early 90s, is a classic that's often overlooked next to Ford and Chevy trucks. Produced in Michigan, these pickups spanned several generations, each bringing its own innovations. The early versions offered a range of powerful V8 engines and were known for their durability and versatility. By the 1970s, Dodge aimed to blend comfort with utility, introducing features like air conditioning and better sound insulation in the third generation, making these trucks more appealing for daily use. Despite their qualities, the D-Series hasn't received the same attention as its competitors, creating a unique niche for collectors and Mopar enthusiasts. Special editions like the Lil Red Express added a dash of performance and style, making some models cult classics. The Ford Ranger GT, a special edition available in 1987 and 1989, is a hidden gem in the realm of compact trucks, largely overshadowed by its more common siblings. This truck came to life in mid-1986, exclusively as a standard cab shortbed, boasting a 2.9-liter Cologne V6 engine. Enthusiasts had the option between a 5-speed Toyo Kogyo manual or an A4LD automatic transmission, both complemented by a traction lock differential with a 3.73 gear ratio for enhanced performance. It was decked out with front and rear sway bars, 14 by 6 aluminum wheels, and Goodyear Eagle tires for a sportier ride. Inside, the Ranger GT didn't skimp on features, offering special bucket seats, a comprehensive instrument cluster, and optional amenities like a center console, tilt wheel, cruise control, plus power windows and locks. 1987 introduced a long bed version, and by 1988, a ground effects package added a touch of flair with a front bumper cover and Marshall fog lights. Despite its allure, the GT option was discontinued after 1989, with a whispered but unfulfilled promise of a 3.0-liter V6 for 1990. Available in patriotic hues of red, white, or blue, the Ranger GT remains a rare find, cherished by collectors for its unique blend of performance and style in a compact package. A peek into the market shows these trucks can still stir interest, with auction listings reflecting their collectability. 
The Jeep Comanche Eliminator, produced from 1988 to 1992, is a unique model within the Jeep lineup, known for its blend of performance and utility. It utilized the XJ Cherokee's advanced Quadrilink front suspension for improved ride comfort and off-road capability, along with leaf springs in the rear for superior load-carrying capacity without compromising the ride quality. The Comanche was notable for its engine options, including AMC's 2.5-liter four-cylinder and the more powerful fuel-injected 4.0-liter straight-six, which was introduced later, offering significant power and efficiency improvements. Despite its capabilities, the specific production numbers for the Eliminator trim are not well documented, suggesting rarity among this specific model. The condition and originality of these trucks now play a major role in their value and desirability among collectors and enthusiasts. The Dodge Dakota Sport Convertible, cruising through 1989 to 1991, was Dodge's bold experiment to blend pickup utility with convertible fun. This oddball, crafted with the help of the American Sunroof Corporation, turned heads but didn't quite capture the hearts of the masses. Initially launched as a novel concept, it offered a unique experience of hauling cargo under the open sky, though it seemed to answer a question few were asking. Despite its distinctive appeal featuring a standard 3.9-liter V6 with 125 horsepower and available in a trio of colors, black, white, or red, and later blue, the Dakota Sport Convertible didn't ignite the expected consumer interest. Sales started at 2,842 units in 1989, but quickly plummeted to just 909 in 1990, and rumors suggest a mere eight were produced in its final year, 1991-1. Its market performance reflected a curious case of automotive novelty, a convertible pickup that, while offering the joy of wind-in-your-hair driving, couldn't quite find its audience. The Dakota Convertible remains a rare gem in the auto world, a quirky footnote in the history of pickups that, today, can be a unique find for collectors willing to explore the roads less traveled. The 1987 Ford F-250 Bigfoot Cruiser was a unique tribute to the iconic Bigfoot monster truck, blending distinctive styling with performance upgrades. It featured special graphics, a suspension lift, 33-inch tires, off-road lighting, and more. However, its rarity today is partly due to a recall that removed many of its standout features like the oversized tires due to safety concerns. This, along with modest initial sales focused on Bigfoot enthusiasts, has made it a forgotten piece of Ford's automotive history. If you want to know more about forgotten and rare pickup trucks, then watch these videos. You won't be disappointed.